Hello YouTube, um, Mike here, Desiras Prime. Yeah, it's me, kind of lacking the beard right now. I shaved it off for my son's birthday party yesterday. I went dressed as Batman. Epic fail, he knew straight away who I was. Waste of a good razor. But, nonetheless, I still had fun. He kind of got a bit scared when I was dressed as Batman. I don't know, maybe I should try it more often around people I don't know. Maybe criminals? No. No. Yeah, this is a rambling video, as the title will suggest. But I'm here to ramble mainly about... Bring in my trusty risk box. <clears throat> Transformers Dark of the Moon Ultimate Optimus Prime. I will talk about what he is, what he isn't, and what he could be. Now, what he is, is <laughs> the Ultimate Optimus Prime from the Transformers Dark of the Moon toy line that goes with the movie. Okay, fair enough. What he isn't is an accurate representation. I will, um, I'll be doing this in various stages, vehicle mode and non-vehicle mode. <laughs> Robot mode, otherwise known as. Um, because there are different points that I want to touch upon in um, each particular mode. In the vehicle mode, <coughs> excuse me, cab section, the lorry itself is small, very small. It does look like he's carrying a big monstrous trailer behind him, which is what it is. And it's it's not too bad. Um, I haven't tried it myself yet, but I do have the Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class Prime, and I have it on good authority that the um, Revengi Prime is to a better scale with this than the um, Dotum Prime. But that's something I'm going to try. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but nonetheless, it still it still goes brum brum very well. I haven't got room to try that now. A wrist box is only so big. But it does look good. In this mode it looks good. But it's the prime cab that's the problem that's too small. Which I'll get to in his robot mode. To me, and this is to a lot of people as well, um, he's not so much a Optimus Prime as a movie Optimus Prime as he is a Power Master Optimus Prime or a God Jinrai if you've seen Master Force and that's what I like about this it's the what he could be that I like about it the potential to be something else I think as a movie Optimus Prime from Dark of the Moon it doesn't quite make it it's just not there. But as other things like a God Jin a movie verse Power Master, a movie verse God Jinrai, or a God Master, I think it could work. It could you know it adds a feasible entry for Power Masters or God Masters into the movie universe. Of course, the, the human or nebulon bonding, I mean, that's just stupid. You'd have to break every bone in your body to fold into an engine or a head. But if they did that with a microtronian, like a minicon sized transformer that could become the Power Master component, if Jinrai was a little Cybertronian that wasn't up to much on his own, but then bonded with the Prime trailer and truck, then yeah, bish bash bosh, we've got a good explanation there, I think. Now, there are, um, you know, I will be back in a sec. So I have a care, but back in five secs. <clears throat> Behind him is an actual Generation 1 Power Master Optimus Prime. I'm going to just quickly transform whilst rambling. There he is in his truck mode. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go into a bit more detail about why I mean I basically said why I don't particularly like it as a movie Optimus Prime toy but you know 
I mean, my friend sold it to me for 45 quid, so I paid about half the retail price. I, um, <clears throat> he didn't really care for it much. Initially, I didn't. I did say if it went down in price, I'd probably pick one up. But then, you know, thinking about it and the potential and, you know, the what it could be just made me more keen on buying it. Let's just shift the Voyager size gun out of the way. And I've done a little modification to that thanks to Pio, or whatever it's called, Pio, I don't know, which I will elaborate on further. Okay, so we have two Optimus Prime with trailers. We have a Generation 1 and we have the latest movie, Incarnation. Both have trailers. Both look cool. Now, compare the similarities. I mean, yes, they're from different generations. In the movie, Optimus Prime uses the trailer as flight tech. He also uses it as battle armor. Um, no, he doesn't. He's at the battle station. Damn. Okay. I'm not writing this shit down. And I never will. But he uses it as a battle station to store his weapons and all the other stuff, as well as probably the numerous faces of his previous victims. But this isn't what this trailer represents. Um, he uses it as a flight suit. And it's a flight suit that once he lands, he just shrugs off his shoulders like he did quite callously, I might add, with Jetfire's corpse in Revenge of the Fallen. It's like, I don't need you anymore. Get off. And um, so that isn't what this trailer represents, because it is a bulky motherfucker of a battle suit. Which is why it is so similar to the G1 Power Master Prime. And there is something else that I happen to notice. Let's take off Generation 1's Power Master weapons. Let's just shift them out of the picture for a sec. I think you know where I'm going with these. Um, see the size of those ports? Yes. And then one in that side, and one in that side. Okay, yeah, so there's plenty of ports, so you can play around with it however you want. The spacing isn't quite the same as the Gen 1, but the G1 Power Size Power Master weapons have mech tech sized plugs, which adds a bit more of a coolness to it. If you wanted to upgrade from this to this, you wouldn't even have to lose the weapons. They can go on. I mean, the colouring's a bit off. I mean, they do look 80s. But it's something I'm sure any good customiser could come up with. Alright, I'm going to stop there. And then I am going to transform this fella and we will talk about it more. And so I'm back, and I've got it transformed. I've also transformed the G1 Power Master Optimus Prime <clears throat> as a comparison. I mean, there's not much to compare in these two, um, you know, aspects. But um, the Dark of the Moon Prime is rather small, again, in um, robot mode. Let's take um, G1 us out of the way. And you compare him, for example, with the leader class, Revenge of the Fallen Prime, and there, as you can see, you can't even see the full Revenge of the Fallen Prime. You're just shy of seeing his head. But it's not just the size as well. I mean, aesthetically, is a lot different. Um, around there, the ab section that they've tried, to, they've tried giving him a six-pack, his front wheels are on aren't on his feet anymore, they're on his forearms, which I don't like because it gives him a bit of a Popeye look. I don't recall Dark of the Moon Optimus in the film having the wheels on his forearms. Yes, we know you are. You say that every bloody time. But, so, here we are. Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime, he is about a Ultra Class. Is the thin ultra class, but like much of the um, Dark of the Moon toy line, they all seem to have that anorexic look about them, like they haven't had a good meal in a good few days. 
or weeks or years. I compared the um, earlier, I did it with um, Beast Wars, Optimus Primal, and you know, Primal just looked like a giant ball of fur compared to him. There's G1 Prime with his guns. If we take off one of his guns and just stand him up there, Optimus Prime will hold the Power Master Prime guns. Those big cannons and shit. So, yeah, if you wanted to go the Power Master route with him, he has weapons when he's in his single vehicle mode. Robot mode, sorry. And there you go. It's just another, you know, thing. You know, why this being a movie vs. Power Master isn't such or a Power Master Optimus Prime slash God Jin Rai isn't such a bad idea. And it is probably more what I'm leaning to with this figure as opposed to a Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime. Okay, let's just take him out of the picture a sec. And you know. That's G1's trailer in his Power Master body. This is the Ultimate Optimus Prime trailer in body mode. Hello again. Now, I've just dropped my mic. This thing, this is why I'm not doing a full on transformation how to do it and stuff because I just don't have the room. Now, there are some striking similarities here. I mean, you know. Hang on. Right, where was I? Sorry, I had to um help a neighbour with her DVD player. And I can't remember where I am. Here's a hint, love. Plug it in. <coughs> anyway. So, yeah. Oh, I don't know where I am. In the movie, the armour, the um, trailer became a set of wings and it became a battle station. This doesn't become a battle station. This does. So, that's one thing this has over this. Um... And he, um, I don't recall it becoming this much. Like I said earlier, when he, um, was doing his little swoosh in to fight Shockwave and he made his entrance with the, um, wings and stuff, he kind of just shrugged it off. Now, to me, that isn't something you shrug off. First of all, you've got to get your legs out. You've got to take the socks off and you've got to take the gloves and the sleeves off and then you've got to take the jumper bit off. It's not something you shrug off, and no, I haven't got it in full-on windmill mode. I don't like it like that. At the very best, I'll have it out like that, which I think is good enough for wings. I don't do the full-on hardcore windmill butterfly effect. It sucks. And yeah, to me, that is um, it's not something you shrug off. It's more reminiscent to that. Granted, the Optimus doesn't fold up to go into that as much as this one would. But, you know, it's still, it's more Power Master than the movie interpretation is. So, I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to combine him with the trailer and I will be back in a few. So I'm back and I've combined it with the trailer. I've also done the same with this guy. Um, you know, just as a comparison point, you know. Granted, this guy is huge. He is massive. Right, that one modification I told you about, the one that Piao suggested. Um, he's got his battle helmet without the gun attached. Basically, I um, unscrewed it from the gun. So, it's easy to um, reattach and detach if you're careful. You don't even need to screw it back in together. It holds in place nicely. Um, but yeah, to me, that head's too small for the body. Another problem. Um, so, you know, having the battle mask, you can't see his face very clearly, but at least it adds a bit more girth to his head and makes it look more proportionate to the um, particular... Um, figure at hand. So but if you want to take it out and if you want another G1, you know, a Power Master comparison, here they are without their added heads. Power Master Prime's head is backwards and boom. 
Okay, that was a joke. I was just being silly there. But, you know. Um, yeah, so I did that. Um, yeah, this gun is big and it's heavy. And, to be honest, the buttons are so sensitive. When I'm taking, when I take it to my son's, you, it, you can hear things shooting in my bag. In my laptop case. And it is just annoying. These things, they fit on. Also... They can fit into his. I can find it. Can't find the old story in my fucking life. Um. So yeah, there he is, holding the G1 Power Master guns. That you know, at least he hasn't got stubby arms. And yeah, they do look pretty cool on him. I think. Um. Another thing I did is two shoulder cannons. They can go on. Sorry, in any of the mech tech ports. I opted for. Sorry, the two mech tech ports above his vehicle mode wheels, his front wheels. I tend to just with a bit of. Gentle persuasion. Bash them in there. Which is a cool place where they can go and they sit there nicely and unintrusively. So he has, if his arms are down, he can shoot little robots on the floor and shoot big robots like that. That, you know, that's what I like about it. The possibility is the fact that you can take a G1 Power Master and upgrade him to the movie verse, not only in terms of using your imagination, but also the fact that his weapons, you can use the G1 weapons with the Ultimate Optimus Prime toy, is something I like. So, in summarising, as a Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime, it is somewhat of a fail. Like I said, the cab is too small. His single robot mode is too small. Um, he just doesn't... His aesthetics are wrong. I mean, yeah, it's a nice interpretation, but I don't like the Popeye wheel forearms and stuff. And, you know... This, the wings, the battle armor isn't something that you can just shrug off the toy like he does in the film. So, to me, as a movie interpretation, it is somewhat of a fail. Not an epic fail, not even a. It's, it's, to me, it's disappointing as that. What I like about it is what it could be. Using your imagination and um, this guy's toys, then, you know weapons sorry you can I can quite easily believe that you know a power master prime could be used in the um, darker than in the transformers movie verse that's what I like about this is the what it could be as opposed to what it is and one more thing you know um just looking at it a bit you know next the Trailer blue, um, at the prime cab module white. Yeah, maybe mob the head a bit, add a few touches of red around there and there and there. Maybe mob the battle mask. Could also have an ultra magnus. To me, um, prime isn't a flat nose in the movies. Ultra magnus doesn't have to be a vehicle carrier. This could, I'm touching his crotch. This could also work. As an Ultra Magnus repaint, a repaint of Ultra Magnus. But again, I still wouldn't pay the full price for that. I think Has Hasbro asked too much for it. I've got it half price. I'm happy with what I've got. To me, it isn't an Ultimate Optimus Prime. To me, it's a movie verse God Jinrai. And being a Master Force fan and liking the Takara cartoons and the storylines and stuff, that to me is fine. I'm happy with this being a movie vs. God Jinrai to me. So that pretty much sums it up. Um, 
Ultimate Optimus Prime. Not the best thing, but it's not the worst either, it's far from it. There are better Optimus Primes, this one, but this will always be an Optimus Prime. This could be someone else. I'll see you next time, or you'll see me.